faith is something that is composite, right? Faith is something that has many different pieces to it that come together to create faith, right? So you have uh, Shastric knowledge. Gyan is part of faith, right? Not all kinds of gyan. Certain kinds of gyan are detrimental to faith. But without knowledge, samanda gyan at least, there's no such thing as faith. Experience is a part of faith. Only knowledge from a book is not going to build faith. You cannot call that faith. That's called information. It's called learning. It's called rote, but it's not faith. Faith has to have some experience paired with that knowledge. Hmm. To include some wonder in it some sense of mystery, right? So just experience and just knowledge is not enough. There has to be some sense of promise, some wonder there that what I am studying is more than I can, I can um, wrap my head around, that I can perceive and understand, right? So faith has many pieces to it. And sometimes one piece may be a little weak. And so we say, my faith is not steady. But it is a mistake to think that faith is what is left over. So, so some people think if you remove knowledge, you remove evidence, you remove experience, then, and you still believe, then that is faith. No, no. That, 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 is, that, is, that is cheap fanaticism, right? That is cheap sentimentality, which will definitely not last unless the other things are there. Right? So faith is something that is composite. It's all these pieces put together. And sometimes the knowledge, the evidence, the fact side can be a little bit, you know, it can get shaky. Uh, and of course, this is, I mean, my experience in going into academic world, sometimes there are times where the fact side start to, you know, wobble a little bit. And so you have to lean more heavily on the side of experience and say, you know, I, I know Krishna. He's, he's, he's had an impact on my life. I've perceived him, not face to face, but I know that he's present. His hand, at least, I've perceived in my life. Mm. The misdemeanance is there, that you have to lean, that Krishna, I cannot know him fully. So I'm willing to accept a little bit of a gap in the intellectual side for now. Sometimes the intellectual side is very solid. Uh, I've got all the Shastric quotes and I understand it and all the facts are there, but something of experience is missing. You wonder, is there really Krishna? I mean, I understand it theoretically, but is, actually, is this, you know, is this a fact? Is Krishna there? Is, is, is there heaven and hell and Yamaraj and all of devas? And is this a, so there's, no, there's not enough experience to, to support that, you know? So when we say that my faith is shaky, we have to understand that it's not one monolithic thing that, ah, it's falling, it's falling, or not it's falling. It's not like that. There's different components. And, and when one component is shaky, which is natural, we just have to lean more heavily on the others. Beautifully put, yeah. Right? Wait until the, if the other side is again strengthened. Just like when I have pain in one leg, then I lean more heavily on the other leg, allowing that one to recover in due course of time. Mm. You know, one of the talks and the seminars I do is on centering our faith on Krishna, centering ourselves on Krishna. So I talk of like Krishna is the center. And then we can have broadly four, there can be many, but if four, you know, you can have a intellectual pathway to Krishna. You can have a cultural pathway to Krishna. You can have a social pathway to Krishna. Mm. And you can have an emotional or experiential pathway to Krishna. Mm. So now, some people for them, now everybody has all the components, but for some people, something would be very prominent. Say for somebody whose primary pathway to Krishna is intellectual, then if there is some question for which you just, the answer doesn't make sense or you don't have an answer, that disturbs them a lot. But for somebody whose faith is not coming from them, why do you worry so much about this question? Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, somebody for whom Say the social pathway is important. That means, say how nice devotees are, or how saintly my my spiritual teachers are, and then they find somebody's behavior questionable. Then it's like everything comes shattering down for them. So, so in that sense, I like this idea of faith as a as a composite, 
and all these are there and maybe for each individual the percentage of each might be different yeah and we all need to we will have one primary aspect but we also need to develop the other aspects so that we can turn to it when necessary yes and therefore on a practical level we should nourish that side which is not our strength right which is not our initial predilection because you never know when you will need it right now your favorite side you know if if like if your intellectual is, is the primary path theek hai it's strong it's good you're feeling confident but you never know when krishna is going to pull the rug out from under your intelligence right and you're you're <laughs> unstable and so it's it's so important to nourish the other side you know and so in my own personal practice i always try to make sure that that non intellectual aspect of faith is always nourished it's always uh, uh that i see that side of krishna also that is engaged with rasa that is emotion that is experience that is the character of vaishnavas that is the aspect of sitting humbly and allowing yourself to accept in a mood of wonder and mystery and appreciation without necessarily relying always on the intelligence uh, to boost up that faith right so we have to be proactive about it we have to uh, nourish that side of our faith you know if we think in these four pathways if we think of them as four legs of of a of a chair of a stool of a table then if one is weak then we have to support that one more so that if in any case one starts to weaken we have strength in the others uh, all the four of them are are abil- uh, have uh, for any individual one side of their body is stronger than the other right unless you're arjun then he's savya sachi is ambidextrous but but for most people it's one side is stronger than the other so therefore physical therapist will tell you you have to do exercises for the other side not for the strong side for the other side to make sure that your body is properly balanced 